Hi, my name is Walker Boys. Today I'm gonna to be going over my winged creatures collection, the bee. Um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna get started by opening the box and taking out the packet. So there's the hoop, there's the color and direction guide, and there's an envelope with the thread needed to finish the project, a needle size 22, and the pre-printed fabric. So first you're gonna loosen the hoop, place the bottom half underneath the pattern, and then you're going to put the hoop over the pattern. Once you place the hoop onto the fabric, you're gonna tighten it, and then you're ready to start embroidering. So first we're gonna be starting with the 3046, the pale yellow, and I like to start from top to bottom, so we're starting with the head, and it's gonna be a satin stitch, and now we're gonna speed it up. So you can slow it down if you like, or pause. And then we're going to go to the 632, it's the Burnt Umber. Um, again, I like to start from the top, so I, we're going to do the eyes next. And then we're going to speed this up, do the legs, do the center of the body. is like a half inch satin stitch and then the center of the body and then we're gonna go to the golden color it's a 782 and start with the top of the body make sure the stitches are nice and tight just makes the project look cleaner we're gonna speed it up and go through the center of the body from the top down and then we're going to go to the 310 it's the black and this will be the ends of the legs and some little details on the center of the body but we're going to start with the left foot and then go to the antlers and then go to or antennas, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> and then we're gonna finish the feet and then we're going to the ikru, it's the off-white color and we're gonna go overlap the black in the center of the feet to really give it some dimension. And this just creates good depth and kind of gives the piece more life. And we're gonna get some details on the center of the body and then go start with the right wing, a satin stitch, kind of tilt it to the right a little bit because that'll set it apart from the other stitches that we're going to do. And then the edge of the wing is going to be a satin stitch and then we'll go to the top half of the bottom wing, same kind of tilted satin stitch. And then we're going to speed it up and finish the rest of the ikru white. edge of the left wing and now we're gonna go to the gray which is 648 and we're following the lines that I drew on the pattern so that the grays don't get mixed together and it sets apart and creates dimension from the white ikru. Finish the bottom half, start on the right wing Again, having the stitches be tilted so it creates depth. Now we're going to overlap with the yellow, the golden color again, over the brown. And then over the wings, we're going to do the 782, the golden. And this just creates a cool texture and look on the finished piece. You don't have to overlap, but um, 
I found that this technique really makes the piece stand apart when you overlap. Now your piece is finished and you're gonna tighten the fabric for the last time. And I actually decided that I don't like the white lines in the center, so I'm going to actually cut the bottom half of the white off because I think it would look better and cleaner with those gone. But I'm gonna keep the very bottom line of the ikru white. And so you just, when you're cutting off thread, you really just snip it and then use your fingers to kind of like peel it off in a way. And you can, this is what I love about embroidery, so you can really just go back and it looks like you started fresh or you didn't even make the mistake in the first place. So I'm gonna get as close as I can to the fabric and cut it off and it just creates a clean look. Now here's a close up of the finished piece. I hope you guys had fun doing this and thank you for being patient with me as I start going through these tutorials. Thank you.